Hey, this is Andrew with 11 Trees. I'm going to walk you through some new capabilities in Annotate Pro, specific to Microsoft Word, although the experience you'll see here is very similar in our Chrome extension. And uh, as we always like to emphasize, uh, the libraries that you create and edit and share, as you'll see here in a moment, uh, are uh, available on both apps or via both apps. So I could flip over to my learning management system uh, and use my library to provide feedback inside of Canvas or Google Classroom or what have you. So let's focus here on Microsoft Word though. I've got Annotate installed. Annotate is a tab in my uh, in my ribbon as Microsoft call it. And <clears throat> these couple of buttons at the top will give me access to uh, my account. And if I move to insert, which is where I would spend most of my time, I will see the libraries that are available to me. If you create an account or just created an account, you'll see something very similar. You'll see a free trial of the college edition and the legal writing edition libraries. And you'll also see a new library with your name on it or whatever name you use to sign up for Annotate that is uh, your library to do with as you see fit. One of the things we've done with libraries is is um, uh, keep in mind that, that uh, often teachers might have a central library of reusable kind of grammar and other uh, standard feedback that applies to just about everything students might do, but they may also have libraries that are particular to courses or assignments. And so we've made it very easy to add as many libraries as you might want and um, use them all at the same time. So you can see here, two of them are checked off. If I were to uncheck uh, college edition, I'll be down to just one library, which is actually quite small. It's got one group and 10 comments in that group, and it's got one favorite that I can see here. So if I come back up, and check off college edition you'll see in the background the page refreshed it pulled in all of the uh, groups and comments from the college edition and so i have a much more robust library of comments to use here so core annotate features that have been here for for a while we've got full text search i always like to use counter arguments so if i make a choice and hit enter annotate pro will add uh, the text uh, and also automatically create a uh, comment in Microsoft Word. One of the really nice things about Annotate for Microsoft Word that, that we think, quite honestly, is better than the native Word functionality is the simple freeform comment. So rather than hunt for the new comment button in Microsoft Word, I can just highlight some text, type a new comment. Uh, I'm going to use the tab button on my keyboard to skip down to insert, hit space, and a comment appears. So I can stay uh, keep the task pane open and use search and freeform comments to save myself many, many clicks and a lot of writing to give feedback to students. So that's how you interact with libraries uh, from a uh, point of view of uh, using them to insert comments. Let me just finish up by showing you the new edit functionality. So from here, you can edit right inside of Microsoft Word. And I've got those two libraries still selected, uh, so I'll see all of the groups that are available to me. And the way that this works is you get a little panel for each of the comments, and you click it to open up, and you can change it, the label that is, change the comments. And uh, uh, you've got a couple of toggles here, it varies depending on who authored the comment, whether you did or someone else. Uh, if you authored it, you've got complete control. Uh, this one was already a favorite and it was already on, meaning available. So I'm going to hit update and go back to insert, scroll down, and at the bottom, I've got now change it as a button. So I can edit certainly from inside of Microsoft Word, and uh, you can even, one of the little quirks here is you can open up two tabs. So you could keep insert going on this tab and on the other tab, you could be uh, editing away. Just remember when you come back to insert, the little refresh button here will pull down any changes you've made either here in Microsoft Word or using our web editor uh, to your libraries. So as you may have seen though, there are a number of new options here. So let's go to manage libraries. Now I'm using a very large monitor right now. So I'm gonna have to shrink this down quite a bit and move it back into the area that you can see. Um, so this is a dialogue window. So the downside to this is I've now blocked my document. So if, if I wanted to do some sustained editing, this might be a good approach, um, but I cannot flip back and forth between the document and editing. 
and I've got the same three libraries. This just gives you a bigger, more relaxed view. So at the very top here, I'll see the library details because I authored this library. I can change the title. For instance, I've got a few options. If I were to share this library, um, which I don't have as a feature or a capability because I'm not part of a, an institutional uh, license, um, here using the account that I'm using, but you can see that that option exists. And if I were part of an institutional Annotate Pro school, I would be able to share this library out informally with my colleagues. And if I were to do that, I could choose whether or not my colleagues were able to extend my library or not extend it. And by extend here, you can read more about this in our support pages, but extending means they could uh, customize it for their own use, but they could never edit the underlying content that you designed. They'd just be creating and adding to it for their own use in much the same way that you can edit and change the college edition and legal writing edition libraries for your own use, but no one else sees those changes. So let's leave this as extensible. I'll just click update so the name sticks and come back to the same library. These panels are collapsible, so I can uh, kind of get rid of the, the overall library details. Um, let me flip to college edition just because there is more content and it's a better uh, example. So college edition has these uh, five or six groups. And if you see the difference in font here, uh, custom group is bolded. That's because I authored it. Style is the group that came with the college edition and it's, it's uh, uh, extensible by me, but I can't edit the underlying name, for instance, of the group. So let's take a look at uh, a comment in an such a group, the one that's been a group that's been shared with me that I didn't author. There, there are default values, but I can extend this comment and make it my own by creating a custom and adding a comment. I've got to remember to flip the default toggle to be custom, meaning please use my version of this comment, not the default one. And when I click update, my changes will be saved. Uh, one other option I've got when I'm looking at a group like this is I can create an all new comment. This one I will own, it'll be part of that same group, but it will be my comment exclusively. You'll see that there isn't a toggle here for default or custom because it's by its very nature, it's a custom, a comment that belongs to me. And I can click save and my changes will be stored away. So. There's some uh, good screenshots and walkthrough of, of the nuances to these choices that I'm showing you kind of quickly here. Uh, from the same view, I can, they're on our website. From the same view, I can create a new library. I get a little modal pop-up or I can enter a name and some basic information and create an all new library. Let's go ahead and close this and go back to Word, go to the insert page, just refresh, make sure I've got the latest and greatest and I would see, uh, uh, down here in my custom group and in any of the areas where I changed the content, I would see the changes and I could use those to comment on documents. And uh, don't forget one, it's always good to remember the, the differences between our Chrome and Microsoft Word extension. One really nice thing about the Word add-in or app is that I can flip this toggle to inline and if appropriate, or if I wanted to, I can insert text into the body of a document as well. So anyway, thanks for checking out these new features. Um, one thing I did mean, mean to mention is that the sorting or ordering of groups and comments is something we are working on. Uh, we know how important and useful it will be. Uh, we hope to have that in uh, kind of mid-November, um, if not before, of 2017. It's always good to use the year when you're talking about dates. Uh, anyway, feedback very much welcome on these new features and capabilities. We'd love to hear from you, either uh, email, comment on this video, Facebook, whatever's most convenient to you. And and uh, um, please don't hesitate to be in touch. And thanks for giving Annotate Pro a try.